It's been quite a long while since I read Stephen Covey's book, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. One of the habits that sticks out for me the most is, I believe it's habit number four, and it's seek first to understand, then to be understood. In a nutshell, it's the approach to life where you go out of your way to be understanding of things. You try to get into people's perspective. And Stephen Covey says in order to change somebody, you first got to understand them, where they're coming from, how they got to where they're at. More recently, I've looked into neuro-linguistic programming, particularly the notion of rapport. I read a book by Michael Brooks called Business Rapport, Neuro-Linguistic Programming for Business Rapport. And he says this is how you get into people's minds. And he says people really appreciate it when you understand them. He defines charisma as the ability to get people to see their reflection in you. And he says you do that by using neuro-linguistic programming rapport techniques. For example, he is very big on the whole visual, auditory, kinesthetic. He says when you find out what someone uses, if they're visual dominant, auditory dominant, or kinesthetic dominant, it goes a long way. Indeed, I think that is the case. And there are a lot of other things that neurolinguistic programming suggests you can be in rapport, whether it's visual, whether, whether it's oral communication or written communication. And most importantly, it's suggesting you adapt yourself so you can better understand where somebody's coming at. And to me, the two go hand in hand, neurolinguistic programming rapport and Stephen Covey's seek first to understand than to be understood. Stephen Covey's idea was more general and broad. He gave some good advice, and I think neurolinguistic programming is very specific in its application of how to do this. I've never heard Stephen Covey mention neurolinguistic programming, but indeed smart minds think alike. So perhaps the two go hand in hand and the two are one of the same. Perhaps one is more general and one is the more specific application. Interestingly enough, neurolinguistic programming says one way you can adapt to other people is to determine whether they're general or specific. So there we go.